Ginkgo Bioworks, the gift that keeps on giving. You know, Jason, if I wasn't holding my phone in one of these hands, I would have given you a round of applause now. You know, in one of my older videos where I talked about how Elon Musk and Jamie Dillon, they basically became lovers and, you know, they forgave each other and, you know, they really exercised a lot of kindness to each other. I need to do that with you, Jason. You know, we need to start off on a better foot. But don't worry, eventually I'll give you some proper round of applause, you know, like the eulogy that I gave you before. But you know, what can I say, Jason? I didn't even know that we were gonna get this far, to be honest, because your stock was like going to the ground to a penny and it was gonna get there eventually. And it pretty much, in essence, it's still a penny stock in my opinion, because the reverse stock split doesn't really reflect any changes in the fundamental aspects of your business or how you operate. But nevertheless, you know, I guess your stock is a little more than $7 now, but that's a class A share. So if I understand correctly, you know, I'm a peasant, Jason. I'm not up there like you at MIT, but you know, the class A shares, they're like the best ones, right? So like, that's like the tip top stuff that like you own. So I don't know, Jason, you know, you're really a bag of tricks these days, you know, but I still need to give you that round of applause. I promise I'll give it to you, you know, it's coming up. But uh, rather than that, you know, like, you really confuse everybody. You say like different things every quarter. You like use different vocabulary. Like you started talking about the tools business and the tools industry this previous quarter. Like you never even said any of those things like in the previous quarter. Like I'm so confused with you, Jason. Like, I don't know, dude, you know, like, I don't know how your wife puts up with you, dude. Cause you know, if you're like this at, you know, your marriage at the house, dude, oh, forget it, dude. You know, like nobody can deal with you, Jason, but I don't know, dude, to be honest, I don't know, bro. Like, you know, you say like so many things, you change it all the time. Like, and people are really trying to hold you accountable for previous past statements that you said. And like, you pretty much try to always shy away from those questions because even when you had talked about how a long time ago when that short seller report had came and you interacted with the auditor, I don't really think you're entirely forthcoming of everything that the auditor told you because there have been other people on YouTube even and like, you know, blogs and comments and stuff. And they've really speculated a lot about how probably the auditor had noticed some round trip cash investments that you were making and that they didn't want you to do it. So you had to make some changes to what they're doing to address their concerns and how you had never really said that. So I don't know, Jason, like, like I told you, you know, you're really confusing. You're like full of a bag of tricks. It's like, you've thought about like a million ways that like people can try to sue you. And now you're like trying to put the officer exculpation thing. You're smart, Jason, you know, your big brain, you know, like you have the biggest brain, you know, because I mean, you went to MIT, you know, I got rejected from like 10 PhD programs there, you know, maybe I'll talk about it in a future video, you know, maybe that could get me some more clicks, Jason. So, you know, I can be more on your level, you know, but God bless you, Jason. You know, I, I, I don't know what to tell you, dude, you know, you seem like you're caught in a web of, you know, of a web of alleged lies right now.